changing We're flying high Creating a complaint-free world No more, no more Complaining people, their lives are changing We're flying high Creating a complaint-free world No more, no more so for those of you who have taken the complaint free challenge or have experienced the effects of this in your life, can I ask you a favor, please? Today, I want you to write down or to make notes in the comment section. Took the challenge, took me this long, still taking the challenge, etc. Hi, Beth. Good to see you. I would like to know your comments today in the comment section as to what the complaint free movement has done for you. Now, real quick, for those of you who don't know, let me give you a little bit of history and I want to catch you up to date. But remember, today's question is, how has the complaint free movement impacted your life? And let me tell you something. The very fact that you're here today listening to me is because of the complaint free movement. I never set out to begin a movement. I never started to get into complaining. I was a huge complainer all of my life. It was the primary way of communicating and connecting with other people. I was also extremely critical of other people. Why? Because I was extremely critical of myself. And so I was critical of other people and I loved to gossip. So all of those things, complaining, criticism, gossip, man, I was the poster child for those things. It's not like I was this upbeat, happy, positive guy. No, I was not. I was a very negative, unhappy, complaining kind of guy. So I handed out these bracelets one Sunday morning, inviting everybody to put them on their wrist. And every time they catch themselves complaining, take the bracelet off their wrist and move it to the other wrist. Just simply take it off your wrist, move it to the other wrist. And your goal is to go 21 days in a row with complaining without complaining rather your goal is to go without complaining 21 days in a row because people believe that you can form a new habit by doing the same behavior 21 days in a row so my goal was to make people aware of how often they fell short how often they complain we complain 15 to 30 times a day the average person we have no awareness we're doing it so this is a mindfulness tool the idea is to put the bracelet on your wrist and every time you catch yourself complaining you switch it to the other wrist. I handed out these bracelets that Sunday morning. We had about 250 people show up. We ordered 500 bracelets. That was about, I don't know, hundred dollars worth of bracelets at that time. Handed them out and people immediately wanted them. They wanted them for their Girl Scout troop. They wanted them for their classroom. They wanted them for their uh, real estate office. They wanted them for their chiropractic office. And all of a sudden people wanted them. So we said, sure, here. We gave away the other 250. Monday morning, phones ring, people wanting bracelets. So we order more bracelets. We give those out. Some person tells somebody else. It was truly like the ice bucket challenge. And it was just taking off and taking off and taking off. And it just took out off out from under our feet. And as you know, I've been we've been featured on Oprah today's show, Dr. Ross. There's over a thousand media outlets around the world. And I've been featured in I actually did a photo shoot. You ready for this? For Harper's Bazaar in China. I mean, like a model. They had me in various outfits and everything with this other woman who was a model. And she's actually executive editor of Harper's Bazaar. I bring all this up to say, wow, wow, what a long, strange trip it's been. And what an extremely awesome and exciting trip it continues to be for me and for so many other people. This has completely changed my life. I want to share with you an image right here. That's Bill Geist of CBS Sunday Morning. I went back through all of my photos. Now, he found me because he saw an article. Was it Los Angeles Times? Los Angeles Times. Yes, he saw an article about me in the Los Angeles Times, and then he came and spent a couple of days with me, interviewing me, and they did a big thing on CBS Sunday Morning, and then from that, I think it was People Magazine, and then Oprah, and Dr. Oz, and all of that, and the whole time, I just felt, wow, wow, and I still feel, wow. I am so blessed and honored to be part of this movement. And 
I think it would be much bigger. Let me just sort of give you the arc of how this happened. So it takes off and it's exploding. And I'm literally doing <clears throat> sometimes three interviews a day. You know, I'm on this radio station in Ireland before I, an hour later, I'm doing an interview in, in Australia. This is literally my life for several years. Luckily, I had a broadcast journalism degree. I really see that now. And I was a radio announcer. And so I felt very comfortable in front of a camera and on a microphone. So I did that. Now, while I was doing that, we had someone who was running the business part of everything. And he's telling me that even though I'm getting all these requests for interviews from all over the world and people are starting to invite me in to speak, he's telling me that we're really not sending out that many bracelets, that we're not having many people order. Well, he was lying. He was stealing and uh, over the years stole close to a quarter of a million dollars. The, the challenge, the, the downside of that, the thing that makes me sad is not the money. I don't care about the money. What I care about is the fact that all of those years he had to downplay the numbers of people so that I didn't have access to their emails. I didn't know. We couldn't build a community like we're doing now every single day by coming together. And so it's been exciting because I feel a lot like the complaint free movement was like a phoenix. It was this beautiful bird that was flying along and then all of a sudden it caught fire. Because <laughs> when he left, I had to turn, totally learn how to redo everything, all the stuff that he had done. And since then, it has grown and grown and grown and grown. And our followers have continued to grow. Why? Because if you can stop complaining, you stop being a victim. You start seeing the world as your lot in life and you begin to build on what you can do rather than complain about what you can't do. You begin to focus on what's possible rather than whine about what's missing. <sighs> what a long, strange trip it's been. For those of you who are joining me uh, either late or didn't hear me say at the beginning, I literally just finished recording a speech. That speech is for the American Pavement Association. I've got many more to do. People are constantly hiring me to come in. And it's not about inviting people to shut up. Complaining, it's becoming a complaint-free person is not telling people to just shut up and suck up whatever comes your way. It's the opposite of that. It's about practicing healthy communication skills, speaking directly and only to the person who can resolve your issue. So I'm going to close with some huge news. I literally just decided this, just like I decided that I'm going to, that I was going to give the six millionth bracelet to Dr. Maya Angelou. I had no idea how I was going to make that happen, but I went around and I told people as if it were a fait accompli. So here's my fait accompli. We are going to relaunch the complaint free movement in a huge way. My agent wants me to write an updated version of the book for a major release. But more than that, I'm going to have a TV show, the world's biggest complainer. We're going to invite people to shoot selfies and send us things saying, Oh, my cousin, she just complains about this and that and this and that. And then we're going to build on that. And we're going to come in me and my team, and we're going to do an intervention with the person. Now, we won't handle it in a way that they're going to freak out. We're going to make sure that it's very comfortable. But we're going to intervene and we're going to offer to help them improve their lives by taking the 21-day challenge and working with us. I am so excited about this because it's reality TV. There's going to be hidden cameras. We'll catch them complaining sometimes and we'll see why. We'll help them understand when they complain. We'll be accountability partners for them. But more importantly, we're going to take a real pulse of how they're doing at the beginning of our working with the person and make sure their lives are so much better at the end. I'm excited about this. I hope you are too. How's it going to happen? Don't know. Don't care. I just made a commitment to it. I told my girlfriend and I told my daughter and I have mapped it out and I have a fairly good idea of the flow and how it's going to work. And I invite you to hold this vision for me. Now, why do I want a TV show? Well, it occurred to me that I'm doing this every morning and we get anywhere from a thousand to five thousand people. That's great. 
I want to impact tens of millions of people's lives. I only have a limited amount of time on this blue ball. And I want to make sure that everybody's life that I come in contact with has the opportunity to improve. So that's what's going on. That's an update on the complaint free world. We're getting ready now to go do complaint free meditation. In the last 15 years, we've gone from the complaint free movement. We now have complaint free business, complaint free churches, complaint free schools, complaint free parenting, complaint free relationships, complaint free meditation, and the complaint free life program. All are vehicles for you to improve your life and other people. So I'm excited about that. And I'm so excited for those of you who are with me regularly, semi-regularly. Let me take a look at your comments real quick before I ring off so I can go meditate with my good friends. Speaking of good friends, I see Jerome Johnson is here and Julian Hardy is here. Ed says, I am not, I am now aware of my complaining. That's his benefit. Awesome. Ed. Jerome says, I remember. Jerome remembers when the complaint-free movement started. That's right. Still taking the challenge, says Ashley, that a complaint-free movement has impacted my life by myself feeling more at peace and happy as well. When I'm on a good consecutive streak, I notice many blessings coming into my life. Great. Jennifer says, awesome. Very exciting news, says Michelle Doherty. Thank you. Love it, says Kathy Cruz. Me, Mom, uh, Bernard says congrats. So look for me coming soon to a major network near you. I truly see that. I believe it. It is a fait accompli. I state it without asking or supplicating. I affirm and know it to be true. The same way I got my agent for my book, Steve Hanselman is considered the seventh most powerful agent in the world. And I was one of his first clients. He hasn't taken a new client in 10 years. And I did it because I affirmed I have a great agent. Well, I have a very successful network television show during which I help people improve their lives. Join me in holding that vision. And I wish for you all a complaint-free Thanksgiving. Remember, today is Complaint-Free Wednesday. Challenge all of your friends to go one day, just once, without complaining. Just try and go one day. Consider this the ice bucket challenge of the complaint-free movement. Just go one day and then you'll be amazed at how much better your life will be. Why? Because the opposite of gratitude is complaining. Don't try and be grateful when you're complaining. You can't do both. Enjoy today. I will see you next Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating. Complain free world, no more, no more complaining people, their lives are changing, we're flying high, creating a complaint free world, no more.